Introducing Uniswap, the largest and most popular decentralized exchange on Ethereum, layer 2s such as Arbitrum, Base and Optimism, as well as many large EVM compatible layer 1s including Avalanche and more. In this video, we will provide you with a complete guide on swapping crypto and providing liquidity with Uniswap. Nonetheless, nothing in this video is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for extra security and always conduct your own research. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to support our channel and stay up to date with the latest crypto guides, reviews, news, technical analysis and so much more. Friends, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are officially on the website of Uniswap, which is app.uniswap.org. I'm going to leave this linked in the description below, and we have got the official X page, which is at Uniswap. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells to stay up to date with everything regarding their protocol. Now, for those who want to understand and learn more about Uniswap, you can further understand it through their website, of which they provide you with documentation. However, in a nutshell, guys, Uniswap is the largest and most popular decentralized exchange available on some of the largest networks in the world. This includes Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, BNB Chain, Blast, Avalanche, Celo, Worldchain, Zora Network, ZK Sync, and many more soon to come. However, guys, if you are looking to swap tokens, if you are looking to provide liquidity all within these networks, this is the application for you. This is home to majority of the liquidity within the entirety of the crypto market, and therefore Uniswap is one of the go-to destinations for swapping and providing liquidity. Therefore, guys, that's why we are providing you with a full, complete, and simple tutorial on how to use Uniswap. So if you're ready to begin, what you're going to need is an EVM-compatible wallet to start with. Now, in our last video, guys, we showed you how to create a MetaMask wallet. And for those who don't have one, you can very simply watch this tutorial as it will show you how to create a new wallet and how to fund it with cryptocurrencies in order to swap, provide liquidity and explore the world of DeFi. However, if you already have a MetaMask wallet or an EVM compatible wallet of some kind, what you want to do is very simply either A, go to the top right corner where it says connect or B, under where the swapping section is, you will see connect wallet. Either or, it would prompt you to do the same thing, and that is obviously to choose your wallet, of which you are going to see on the right hand side, we are listed with a few options that we can use on Uniswap. So, whichever wallet you decide, you're going to click on it, and very simply, you are going to connect your wallet. You can use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. Once you have chosen, you click the connect button, and as soon as you're connected, my friends, you are going to see your username or wallet address appear in the top right corner. And from here, my friends, we are now connected and we can then use all of our assets within the Uniswap decentralized exchange to swap or provide liquidity. So with step one, what are we going to do from here? Well, we are going to use the most popular feature and that is showing you how to swap. Therefore, my friends, using this Uniswap decentralized exchange, I'm assuming that you want to sell or buy a token. And therefore, the token up top is the token you are going to be selling. And down below is the token you are going to be buying. Now, assuming that you know which token you want to buy and it's available on Uniswap already, you are going to very simply choose which network that you want to swap on. Now, you can replicate this across any network, my friends. It doesn't have to be strictly on Ethereum, strictly on Base, or strictly on any of the networks that are available. You can use any of the networks that you want to use here, guys, to swap tokens. And the great part is you can even cross-chain swap between Polygon to Avalanche or BNB Chain to Base or Ethereum to ZK Sync. These available options are here for you guys and I will show you how to do that but just showing you how to do a native network swap without doing a cross-chain swap let's just say for example we chose the base network to swap some tokens here my friends you can see all of the tokens within our wallet now let's just say for example I sold my ETH tokens now like I said you can replicate this across any network so if you're swapping on the Ethereum network or base network or Arbitrum network it will all work the same you don't have to do anything different other than choosing the network that you want to swap so we're on the base network, we're swapping our Ethereum tokens on the base network. What are we going to do? We are now going to choose a token to buy. Therefore, the token down below is the token that we want to select. So you select the token drop down here. Once you click that, guys, you will be able to first see the available tokens in your wallet on the base network. As you can see, I've got Ovos, Base ETH, Layer 0, RVV3 Wrapped ETH, Aerodrome, Brett, and so many other tokens of which some were airdropped. So please be careful with the tokens you are interacting with. However, you can swap into any token that is available on the Uniswap exchange, or my friends, if you have found it externally from Dex Screener or CoinMarketCap, you can copy the wallet address and paste it in the search bar up top. So, 
Assuming you know which token that you want to swap, let's just say, for example, we swapped into the stablecoin USDC. How do we very simply do so? Now that we've selected our token and we've got ETH up top, which is the token we are selling, down below is the token we are buying. We are going to very simply choose an amount that we want to sell. Now, I've got 0.05 Ethereum, and let's just say I swapped 0.004 just for the sake of the tutorial, which is roughly $13.70. If I click review, my friends, you are going to very simply see the associated fees and network costs associated with the swap. If I click swap, the next step is to very simply confirm all of the details in your wallet of which MetaMask has provided us. Once you've confirmed all the details, you will very simply click the confirm button. And as soon as that's done, guys, the transaction is going to be processing and straight away we can see that our tokens have been swapped 0.004 ETH for $13.66 worth of USDC. So you can see, guys, that we have officially got all of our USDC tokens, which we can now swap into any token, whether that's ETH, whether that's another token on the base network. It's entirely up to us. However, my friends, that is very simply how to perform a native swap. If that was on the base network, Ethereum network or whichever network you are using. However, guys, let's just say that you wanted to perform a cross-chain swap. What is a cross-chain swap in just a few seconds? Well, in a nutshell, my friends, it enables you to swap tokens from one network to another without having to use a bridge or any other third-party services. So say, for example, up the top here, guys, the token that we want to sell. Let's just say we go up the top here and select a network. Let's just say, for example, we chose the Optimism Network. On the Optimism Network, guys, you can see I've got Optimistic ETH, I've got Optimism and other tokens within this network. Say, for example, I wanted to swap some of my Ethereum tokens on the Optimism Network over to another network, whether that was Base, Ethereum, ZK Sync, Arbitrum or any of the available networks within the Uniswap platform. What I would do is I'd very simply go up to where the network choice is. And now I'm going to choose a network that I want to cross-chain swap to. Now, we've already decided that we're going to be swapping our Ethereum tokens from the Optimism network. Therefore, if I just chose another network, let's just say, for example, it was ZK Sync. If I wanted to swap into Ethereum on ZK Sync, I would choose ZK Sync ETH. And here, guys, we can confirm that we've got Optimism ETH up top and down below, we've got ZK Sync ETH. So, for example, if I wanted to send another 0.0044, roughly $15 worth of Ethereum, I can now move my Ethereum tokens from the Optimism network over to the ZK Sync network. Absolutely fantastic. Now, why would people want to do this? Well, A, people might want to start on a different network and start exploring another ecosystem. And therefore, by bridging Ethereum from the Optimism network, a layer two network of Ethereum, you can move those assets over to ZK Sync, where you will then be able to use those gas tokens in order to explore the ZK Sync ecosystem. Another reason is because people may want to hold assets on different networks. People may want to find a different token to invest in in another network and therefore cross-chain swapping is a nice, easy, quick and cheap method of which you can move assets from network to network. So, friends, if you have decided that you want to now cross-chain swap any of your assets, you will then click review. Once you agree that you are swapping Ethereum Optimism over to ZK Sync, having the Ethereum tokens, you are going to check out the network costs and associated fees, of which if you agree, you just click the swap button. Once you do that, you are going to see in your MetaMask wallet all of the details once again. If you agree, you just click confirm. Very, very simple. And now you can see it is swapping our tokens. We just have to wait for it to process. And straight away, guys, within a matter of seconds, we have now got our assets over on ZK Sync, of which we have moved from Optimism. So guys, you can see very simply that is how to perform a cross-chain swap. No matter what networks you are choosing, you can replicate this, guys, and it is very, very simple. I absolutely love this from Uniswap, and it is a fantastic feature which will help newcomers and even the most seasoned pros in moving assets. So guys... Now you know everything about how to swap tokens on the Uniswap Decentralized Exchange. What is the next most popular features and products of this protocol? Well, we have got the liquidity pools section. And on this part of the protocol, guys, you can provide liquidity in order to earn fees from the selected pools of which you think will generate the most revenue. If, for example, you know on Uniswap people are performing a lot of swaps using Ethereum to USDC, you could provide liquidity in an Ethereum to USDC pool. Depending on what tokens you want to provide liquidity pools for and depending on what networks, guys, they are all here for you on the Uniswap Decentralized Exchange. However, you can already see that on different networks, such as this Optimism one, I'm providing $8 worth of Ethereum and Optimism in one pool. 
I've got a pool in the base network of which has a position of $13.58 wrapped ETH to USDC. On the Zora network, I've got a $177 position from wrapped ETH to USDZC. I've got another position on the ZK Sync network, again on the Celo network, again on the Arbitrum network, again on the Polygon network and so on. So my friends, you can check out all of your positions. However, assuming that you haven't got any, how would you add one? Well, the first step, you can either A, check out the top pools by TVL on the right hand side of which Uniswap provides you. Here guys, you'll be able to explore more pools as well. So if you want to find out all of the best pools within the Uniswap decks, you can very simply do so on this leaderboard here. You can also, for example, filter it down by your favorite networks that you want to provide liquidity on. Let's just say, for example, we wanted to focus on the base network to provide liquidity. If you filter it down by base, you can see here, guys, that we've got ETH to USDC, we've got ETH to Brett, ETH to Ray, AIXBT to USDC. And then on the right hand side of that, guys, you can see the associated TVL, which is an important metric to keep an eye on. You've got the APR of which how much you will earn over the course of a year. You've got the daily volume, the 30 day volume and the one day volume to TVL. Now, all of these statistics here, guys, are very crucial to keep an eye on. The TVL most important as it will give you a sign as to how volatile this pool will be. The less of a TVL it has, the more volatile it will be and therefore it will be extra risky, but may even come with extra reward. Another thing to keep an eye on is the APR. So therefore, if there are pools with extremely high APRs, you want to be extremely cautious. So before we go and show you how to provide liquidity, guys, it is very, very important that you understand all of the risks associated with liquidity pools. It is extremely risky to provide liquidity however it can be extremely rewarding if you know what you're doing it is something that you're always going to have to keep an eye on and something that you must conduct your own research on before you invest a single cent however guys we're just going to keep it very simple we just want to show you a tutorial on how to provide liquidity now for example let's just say we chose the top pool which is eth to usdc you can see that this pool generates around 2.2 billion dollars of volume every single month now although the apr isn't as high as others we can generate a rough apr of 23 percent on our assets just by providing liquidity to the eth to usdc pool now on this pool guys you'll be able to see everything when it comes to transactions when it comes to the amount of volume and everything associated with it if for example you wanted to add liquidity and start earning passive income from this pool you would very simply click the add liquidity button now what you're going to need is you're going to need to have both of these tokens you're going to need to have a ethereum and you're going to need to have b usdc now assuming that you already have eth which you should you may not have the usdc token but we did show you how to swap into usdc earlier on in this video but for those who didn't do it you would go over to trade it depends on which pool you're providing liquidity for by the way if you're providing it from a different pool then obviously you would buy different tokens but as we are obviously using the eth to usdc pool we are going to need to get usdc you can do this on any of the available networks guys now i'm using it on the base network so i need to filter it down by base i'm going to be using ethereum tokens and i'm going to be buying usdc tokens now although i already have some usdc on the base network as you can see because we've done that earlier on in the tutorial i'm going to just buy a few more tokens just for the sake of the tutorial tutorial which is going to buy around three dollars and forty cents worth please guys this is not financial advice this is just a guide on how to provide liquidity so please obviously conduct your own research and make your own choices so once i've confirmed this transaction and i've got myself usdc i'm going to go back to the pools section and as we know i want to filter it down by base of which i'm going to choose the base network if i go down here to the eth to usdc pool what i now want to do is start providing liquidity so therefore on the right hand side if we go back to the add liquidity section here we are back on the page of which we are selecting our pairs we are choosing the eth to usdc pool the next most important part guys is choosing the fee tier so the amount earned providing liquidity choose an amount that suits your risk tolerance and strategy now you can see automatically they provide you with a recommended one which is the 0.05 percent fee tier this is the percentage that you will earn in fees so if you were to click more you'll be able to see a huge range of variety of different features now you've got the bare minimum which is the 0.01 percent and this is best for very stable pairs however you've got different tier rewards dependent on which pools you are using they obviously provide you with a recommended one and then they will provide you with risky ones and obviously less risky ones so it's entirely up to you which one that you choose out of these guys I've personally stuck with the recommended one as that is what Uniswap thinks is best for us. If of course you know what you're doing and you understand everything about liquidity pools, you will choose the associated fee tier that is best for you. So I'm just going to very simply click continue. Now the next most important part is to set the price range and you can either do this by choosing the recommended which is the full range 
or you can set a custom range, but once again, you will need to know what you're doing, as this will allow you to concentrate your liquidity within specific price bounds, enhancing capital efficiency and fee earnings, but requiring more active management. So guys, if you can actually keep an eye on this and you know what you're doing, once again, you can actually generate so much more revenue from the fees. However, with this comes more risks. But I'm going to go with the very simple full range option of which is going to do it automatically. If I now click continue, the next step is to very simply choose an amount of tokens that we want to deposit. Therefore, if you wanted to deposit all of your USDC, for example, it will automatically balance out the amount of Ethereum required for the pool. So if I'm doing $17 worth of USDC, it's going to automatically do $17 worth of ETH. Now, if you didn't want to do all of those tokens, you could very simply choose an amount that you wanted to do. Let's just say it was $5.55. You could do $5.55 worth of USDC to ETH. And we are going to basically have $11.10 all in all within this liquidity pool. So the next step, guys, is to very simply click review. Once you agree that you want to put these tokens into the pool to start earning income, you will then create a liquidity pool. This will turn your tokens that you have deposited into this pool into what's called liquidity pool tokens. But keeping it simple, guys, we are going to very simply just deposit our assets into this pool. And as you can see, guys, it is as simple as just clicking a couple buttons. And now we can see that we've got another position of $11.10, earning 24.25% APR on the wrapped ETH to USDC pool. So if we click on this, guys, here you'll be able to see your LP NFT, of which you can see your ID, your minimum ticket and maximum ticket. You can see how much you are providing and how many fees that you've generated already. You can collect these fees at any time by clicking collect fees and you'll see how much you'll get in both ETH and USDC. Now, you can choose to collect it in USDC or even wrapped ETH or Ethereum. It's entirely up to you. Obviously, because we've only just had it in here for a couple seconds, you can only see a generated amount of 0.0000336. However, we would just wait, wait for the tokens to generate some fees for us, collect the passive income, however much you want to collect whenever you want. But let's just say, guys, that you wanted to remove it, you've had enough of your liquidity pools and you just want to have your tokens liquid again. All you would do is go to the top right corner, click remove liquidity, choose the amount that you want to withdraw. If it was the whole entire amount, you would choose 100%. Click remove, confirm it in your wallet. And very simply, you would see your tokens appear in your wallet. Now, I'm going to leave this here because I want to provide liquidity on the Uniswap decentralized exchange. As you can see, guys, in my other pools, you can see all of the associated positions I have. I've generated one cent in fees from this $13.56 liquidity pool. I can collect this if I wanted to, and you'll see that I get the associated fees. Now, friends, this is very simply the liquidity pools. You can earn as much passive income dependent on how much you've deposited. Obviously, guys, please be very cautious when providing liquidity, as I've mentioned before, that there are many risks risks associated with it. However, guys, that is practically the Uniswap protocol in a nutshell. If you want to take a look at the protocol and learn about the other tokens available or all the pools, the latest transactions, you can do so all through the Uniswap decentralized exchange. Now, my friends, I personally believe that this is one of the best decentralized exchanges that you can use in the entirety of any chain. That's why we have provided a tutorial for you. And that's why most people, when they're looking to swap crypto, they come directly to Uniswap. Now, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button because it really shows support on our channel. We appreciate every single one of you who does show support. If you are interested in airdrop guides, reviews, news guides, technical analysis, or anything related to crypto, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button because we've got so much content coming to our YouTube channel. Now, friends, we appreciate you so much and we can't wait to see you in the next video.